Severn from quiltaddictsanonymous.com and today I'm going to teach you how to sew a perfect quarter inch stitch. I'm going to show you three different methods for setting up your sewing machine so that whether you have a really basic machine or really fancy one, you're able to set your machine needle and your presser foot up so that you're able to sew a consistent quarter inch seam every time. Sewing that consistent quarter inch seam will really change your quilting if you're having trouble with it now. Your points will end up where they're supposed to be, everything will turn out the right size, and you'll just be much happier with your overall finished look of your quilts. So first what I'm going to show you how to do is if you have a really basic machine that does not have a standard or a quarter inch presser foot, then this is the method for you. This presser foot here is the standard one that comes with most machines and it's actually made for garment sewing. Um, and it is wider than a half an inch, which is what your standard quarter inch presser foot is. And I actually, when I started sewing, I didn't know the difference. I thought that the machine would definitely come with a quarter inch presser foot. And so I would always sew with my fabric lined up with the edge of this presser foot and I couldn't understand why it, my fabric wasn't, or my seams weren't turning out correctly. But once I found out that this was not in fact a quarter inch presser foot and that I needed to make an adjustment, then everything changed for me. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So if you are like me when I started out and you do not have a quarter inch presser foot, you just have your standard one and your machine is not sophisticated enough to where your needle can move. The way you want to do it is you want to get a ruler out and a smaller one is a little bit easier to maneuver than a large one. And you're going to position your ruler so that it's the quarter inch mark is underneath the needle and you're going to use your hand crank on the side of the machine to slowly bring that needle down until it's right on top of that quarter inch mark. And you want to be careful with this because you definitely don't want to break your needle. You just want to see where it's lining up so you can line it up um, accurately to get a good measurement. And then you need a roll of painter's tape. I've got frog tape here but the regular blue stuff works too. And we're actually going to put this on our machine and use it as a guide. So I'm just going to rip off about you know three inches or so here I'm gonna place that alongside the ruler and now this has become my quarter inch guide so now I can pull my needle back up and remove my ruler and now when I set my fabric down now as long as I keep that fabric in line with the edge of this tape I'm going to sew a perfect quarter inch seam every time. So this is a nice little sewing hack if you have a really basic machine that has the standard presser foot that's made for garments but not the quarter inch one that's made for quilting. And this is just a real non-permanent solution so if you ever decide to upgrade um, to a quarter inch foot it's, you're not going to leave a mark on your machine so it's a really great way to make sure you have that nice visual guide and sew your perfect quarter inch seam. Now the second way to make sure that you always sew a quarter inch stitch is to actually buy a quarter inch presser foot. If you have a machine that was specifically made for quilting, there's a good chance that this foot may have come along with your machine. So check your owner's manual to see if you have this foot. Um, but if not, you usually can buy them to fit your machine. Sometimes you can buy a standard one and they're pretty cheap. Um, other times that you need to buy one that's specific to your machine and it can be a little bit more expensive. But it's definitely worth it if you struggle with sewing a quarter inch stitch because why spend all that money on fabric and then be disappointed with the results when you could just buy a foot that would make it really easy for you to keep in line. So let me show you the difference between what it looks like. We have a regular presser foot that is um, 3 8 inch from center and then we have a quarter inch presser foot and when I line that up with the actual quarter inch it's right on a half an inch here. So it makes it really easy to maintain that quarter inch stitch all the way along because you're just going to line your fabric up with the edge of this presser foot. Let me show you what that looks like on the machine. Go ahead and snap my foot on. So now what I'm going to do is when I put this underneath, all I have to do is line the edge of my fabric up with the edge of my presser foot and as long as I stay consistent and I don't get wobbly as I'm sewing through, I'm always going to have a perfect quarter inch stitch. 
Now this third way to make sure that you always sew a quarter inch stitch is for machines that have built-in stitches. And a lot of times machines that have computerized stitches will have a setting for a built-in stitch. Um, you want to consult your sewing machine manual. Each machine will have it um, different. But mine, you look under your stitch selection and you can find out what machine stitch that is. So all I have to do is select that number stitch and my needle will move automatically into the position where I can sew a quarter inch stitch as long as I have my fabric in line with the edge of that presser foot. And this is really great too because on mine I can change the settings just a little bit. So if I want to just hit it one needle width over then bam I've got a scant quarter inch seam without having to do any judging of where that might be. Um, so this is a great option for people who have a little bit fancier machine. Um, but again, consult your owner's manual to see if that might be an option for you and your machine. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it will help your quilting be more accurate. And if you've enjoyed it, please go to my website at quiltaddictsanonymous.com and check out other tutorials and patterns. And happy quilting!